This week on Barton's RVing, we wake up to some very cold weather, pack all our stuff up, and get back on the road. Okay, babe, what are we about to do? Take a dump. It means we're gonna dump. Okay, this is uh, not the fun part, but this is where we dump our gray water, which is our pee water and our water water. Uh, we don't take dumps in our RV. No, 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 no dumpy. It's just like that movie with uh, Robin Williams. Cooking it all up, making sure it's all proper. Black water first. Black water first. It's a lot of water. It was cold, so we tinkled a little bit. Not the gray water. Yeah, that's great. Mm -mm. Don't have that much gray water because we found a little leak under the sink. So we're gonna try to get that fixed before our Arkansas trip. Close the black. Give it a little shake for the gray water so it can clean out the black pipe. And then make sure you shut off the gray. And if you use it, do the black water first, then the gray, it kind of cleans out the hose so it's not stinky. Usually when we have like the water, like I said, I'll usually use Fabuloso. So that way when um, he cleans it out, it's cleaning out that little um, tube. But like I said, our, uh, we have to fix that little leak. So our next trip to Arkansas, it'll be all fixed and ready to go. That's all Donnie does, and then he throws it in the back. And wash your hands. We also have hand sanitizer in the car. We also got a very big surprise at the pumps today. 
Who knew that Texas could be around $4 on gas? I wonder if this is going to affect our later trips in the year. Junction, Texas, elevation 1,709, population 2,507. Oh look, it says South Llano Park. Hmm, that might be a good idea for a trip. This is Shriner Park. Is that what it's called? Supposedly. This is free boondocking site. You don't have to pay at all around here. It looks like they're working on it or it's closed or something.
As of today, Shriner Park in Junction, Texas is closed to RVers. So it's no longer a free boondocking site. Uh, what had happened is uh, there was a flood that devastated the park. Uh, several people went missing. I don't know if they found them or not, but after that they closed it down for a while. Then when they reopened, they decided not to let people camp there overnight. Uh, I guess it's part of doing uh, because of the flood. And also some residents were complaining about people leaving the park trashed, uh, having feces in the park, you know. We, as RVers, we gotta keep these parks clean because any little thing we do, we'll, we'll lose a boondock site. And boondock sites are so important to us. It's free camping and we just gotta try harder. Um, if you're at a park, uh, a boondocking site, free boondocking site, and you see trash, Go ahead and pick it up. We got to try harder people keeping these parks clean and able to use. Also, I'll put a link to the article or the thing on the internet that I found this information on. That was a shame we lost that boondocking site. For those of you that don't know what boondocking is, it's pulling over at a park, Walmart, uh, parking lot, business site, and just pulling over, getting a good night's sleep, and then you travel the next day. You don't stay there long. You don't stay there for three or four days. It's just like a pit stop to maybe eat uh, sleep and then get up early in the morning and take off uh, this was a very good site uh, I kind of rate them on you know how good they look safety and if they have restrooms I don't know if this had restrooms open all night or not but it, it was such a pretty place to be at that you know I'm kind of sad that we didn't get to stay there and it's kind of actually too close to our home to actually do it overnight going to another place but you know we just we lost another one Definite no for us. It's steep. It is real steep. <laughs> Thought you were gonna yolo it, bitch. <laughs> well, until I saw, I didn't think it was gonna be that steep going up. It doesn't matter how steep it is as long as I can turn around. Oh, okay. How steep is steep? All right, all right. I guess that was a bust. Oh, a no go. 
Uh, I wanted to go up there. It said a scenic overlook or scenic site. Uh, that would have been a great uh, photo op for the Bushwhacker Plus. We could have used that shot for a thumbnail to a episode this episode or another episode. Uh, that it it looked like it was pretty high up there. the The road was kind of sketchy. It, it it wasn't a very big road, but that's not what I was worried about. I was worried about getting up there, and there was no way to turn the trailer around. And I'm not really good at backing up the trailer. I'm getting better. Uh, what I do use though, uh, and I suggest to all the RVers, you know, if you're new or you don't know about it, get on Google's map. Uh, get on the satellite view. You could zoom right in there, see how large of a space is up there. Uh, you could probably also see if there's any height restrictions or anything, like overhangs, uh, a gate, or something like that. But uh, yeah, if, uh, if if I knew I could have got up there, we would have done it. Where would classify something to be a hill and a mountain? Do you think that would be classified as a mountain? Welcome to Texas Hill Country. <laughs> yeah. Over here, there's an overlook, but we can't pull over right now. It's yeah, it's Even dangerous. The car is dangerous. The car that car. We have a little bitty car, maybe, but there's not very much on the side. And there's not very much of a pullover space. But it just looks down to the HEB camp. Not very much to look at. Yes. 
slow. We have a lot of deer out here in this area at night. We don't like to drive over here if we get invited to come out here. We don't. It's either we're going to come and stay the night or we just don't come over here at all at night. It's, it's pretty bad. Country Robert. Kerrville is not Hill Country. Uh -huh. I 10 is not the Hill Country. You missed it all when you passed through Uvalde. Uh, uh, you have to be below I 10 and above 90 for to be Hill Country in between there. That concludes DB's Texas Geography lesson. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like.